recording this so I don't forget what I'm thinking. So, I'm cleaning right now, so just thinking out loud. I'm curious. Why is it that so many people allow negativity to lead on to more negativity? I mean, that's what it is. You be mean, be angry, it's going to lead on to more anger. Unless you control yourself and live in the moment in your peace and serenity inside yourself and don't let other people control you. You know? They each made their own choices. And what choice you make is determined what your future is going to lie for you. So, I grew up with the stuff that's going on with my family here, and I allowed the negativity of it, of what happened, to control me for so long that it destroyed me. You know, I mean, it's, I felt so lost and so not me. And my sister kept telling me and everything, and my friends kept telling me, and I kept ignoring them because I wanted to solve the problem that happened in the past so bad to get rectified that it controlled my future. Mama, and then, look you silly girl. I'm going to show them. Hold on, hold on. Mm, hello. <laughs> All right, go. Anyways, um, that one says Jesus is my savior. We just got them in the mail. They're awesome. <coughs> but how is allowing a negative thing to control your future of continuing to allow it be a negative impact on your present tense? You cannot change the past. Some people listen, a lot won't. I learned that the hard way. But you need to believe in yourself and keep your serenity and yourself at peace. And Jesus Christ seriously does help a lot. He is like the sole person who helped to clear a path for me, to start new, and to put walls up around the negativity so I had a more clean path to walk down. And there were negative instances here and there, but it's more peaceful within yourself, and you have more control over your actions, your words, your thoughts, more clearly. So, I mean, it's, negative is not going to solve negative. But rectifying it the right way, the right way is up to you, depending on your circumstances. But be happy to gladly to help people, and I, if I know somebody that can help them, I will navigate them to their people. That's what we're here for, is to help others learn that it is possible to regain yourself and become more in control of you because he's in control and I'm telling you that from my life experience and I refuse to let anybody control my views on how I see things and how I partake to things you know I'm not a bad person I am a person who wants to do all I can within boundaries that I know I'm able to go and learn new ways to be able to to make things help things become more how they're supposed to be you know friends being there for friends neighbors being there for neighbors nobody has the same upbringing nobody knows what the other person has gone through so don't allow your past and your negative past dictate you and navigate you away from a positive future that you can have. I don't have very much, but I have enough of what I need. And money is not that. I don't need money to, I need it to survive, you know? But I don't need it to dictate my choices in the future to become more greedy and selfish and not wanting to reach out and do the right thing for other people. I mean, it's, the rules and laws that are being passed, it's like that, it's like on a personal view, that's all it is. Because the only person who has last say is a person at the top of the chain in your area. And so their past, their, their path that they went down 
is going to dictate what their choice is, whether it's positive or negative for people around them. And the only way you're going to get somebody that's positive is by someone who wants to be there and talk to other people to find out what the positive and negative is and come to a, de a decision from experience, not from training through college, not through training through school, but through personal experiences. How else are you going to learn what's going on? So instead of continuously blocking the people out there trying to do the right thing and arguing with them, trying to prove them wrong when you can't, listen to us. We are not here to dictate your choices. We are here to show you with examples of what has happened to so many and continue to happen now because of not being there to open up and hear people. Especially hear the children, the ones that are forcefully going through these systems that are most car most places are not helping them out. There are some good places, don't get me wrong. I'm not against all foster placements and adoptions. There are good people out there, and thank the Lord for them. But so many of our kids, regardless of how many it is, are being pushed into these places that are destroying them. And the only way they're gonna come out of that is by us uniting together and being there for them. The kids are not our enemy. The ones putting them in the placements they're at are. And the lies that they tell about the parents, that people are believing, is pushing the parents to become those wrong people. So many of them fall into that category because they're being deprived. They have no way of feeling they're going to win their kids back or anything. That they're pushed into that place that they were falsely accused of in the first place. And so many stay there and get stuck there because they don't have friends there to help back them up and to reassure them that they're not alone. You're not alone. We are here for you. And how people can get so happy about doing such wrong things on people is beyond me. I, I'm i beside myself on how can you do that? How can you be so pleased with doing so much negativity? But that's just my perspective on it and hope you all have a good day.